Hey guys, so it's me Felicia and you probably forgot who I am by now because I haven't posted in ages because I had some difficulties with a video that I wanted to post a while back it was supposed to be for like start of September I hated the videos that I filmed I didn't have a lot of ideas all that kind of stuff I'm really sorry excuse my weeks, months of absence I'll try being more consistent this time and please forgive me I also wanted to thank you guys because if you come from Instagram you know that I've reached 200 followers woohoo and I'm really really happy I'm really overwhelmed because when I imagine what 200 people would be it's just huge and it makes me really happy I'm so grateful and thank you so much because it happened a week ago and I wasn't really active at that time so I didn't really understand why it happened but I'm really happy thank you guys I just wanted to stop and say that so yeah thanks and uh, yeah, so without further ado, because I know that I've been talking for a while already, um, let's start this video. So the actual topic of this video is Inktober and how to prepare for Inktober. I am so happy that Inktober is finally coming. I have never done Inktober, but I regret that I've never done it before because I think it's going to be so great and it's coming really soon. It's in the start of October and uh, it's it's kind of soon and I'm like currently counting the days until Inktober starts because I'm so excited. So first of all I wanted to define a bit what is Inktober because maybe some of you do not know what it is even though it is a huge thing. So first of all you need to know that it mainly happens on Instagram because each year in October artists join Inktober and Inktober is a challenge where every single day for October, so like 30 days, 31, I'm not sure, and uh, you need to draw every single day a uh, link to drawing. It could, you could add some color, but you need to at least have it inked. And there are really so many wonderful artists participating. The ones that I'm thinking right now are like Siren, Jacqueline de Leon, Brunard, I think, and so many more, much more artists that I love that will participate this year for Inktober. So next, I wanted to talk to you guys about the materials that I use. So here is more or less an overview of all the things that I'm going to use, and I'm going to talk to you guys about each of them. So first of all, it's a pretty basic thing, but just have a pencil with you, because pencils. You can't do a drawing without a pencil except if you're really really good and I'm not at that level of really good. <laughs> so next are these. These aren't directly linked to inking pens but those are the Pentel uh, water brushes. So aqua brush I think. Something like that. And um, I've gotten them in three different sizes. A small, a medium and a big. And I think that is going to be really useful because if I want to work with some watercolors to use with this watercolor palette, so this is the Van Gogh uh, watercolor pocket travel palette. And next I'll be also using this thing. So this is the acrylic artist ink. Uh, so it's water resistant, non-clogging, pigmented, uh, and uh, yeah, it's black ink from Dalleroni. Uh, in black, so the O28. I'm really excited of using this because I have only used it once and I'm going to use them with my brushes. Um, so those brushes also are really useful because there's the water inside so you can use it as you're like not home or like where you don't have access to water and they're always very useful. Even though you don't have the quality of a like high-end brush, you still have brushes so it's better than nothing. So next I have this. So this is the Pentel pocket brush and it is really good for inking and I still don't master it, it is very very hard to master this pen and overall I really like this brush 
And I will also hope that I'll actually be able by the end of October to fully master this. Next, I have these. These are the Sakura Pigma Micron Pens. So they come in different sizes, 005, 01, 02, 03, and 05, and 08. And um, they're really nice. Um, they're kind of pretty basic inking pens. I have to say though that the 03 and 05 kind of leaked and it's kind of complicated to use them because I just like put some black ink everywhere. But I can still use them, so that's why I still love them. I think having pretty basic pens is always useful because you always need some basic ones, I guess. Um, you can use some high ends, you can use some cheap ones. Either is going to be really good. Then the other thing that I think I'm going to use very often is just some random pen, just ballpoint pen. Really, you don't need fancy stuff for doing Inktober. Take whatever you have and draw with it. Another random thing is this, uh, which are the Papermate Flare in Medium. Um, so this is the black one. I normally use them for writing, but I often draw with it or doodle with it, I guess. Just another pen that, well, I'll be using if I forget my art supplies. Then I have all of these. So these are the graphite markers, so they're alcohol-based um, and it's all of the black shades, so I've got like some black, cool greys and some warm greys. I think I'm going to use them a lot because if I want to make different kind of tones, variation and if I want to color them, I think it's going to be pretty useful. And last but not least is this. So this is the Signo Unibol white gel ball pen and I use it already like without Inktober or whatever. It's just to add like this kind of pop of light in your drawings. Um, it's really good for if you're drawing the eyes for example, just add a little bit of white and it gives more life to your character. It will add more kind of contrast because if you're only using ink pens and blacks, you'll need to have at one point some whites, so this is very good. So then I wanted to come to the part uh, where I talk about why you should do Inktober. So at first Inktober started in 2007 by this person, I forgot his name, I am so sad that I forgot his name, and uh, it was to improve his art and he just forced himself to draw every single day for the entire month. And it is very logical that it will improve your art because practice makes perfect. And the more you draw, the more you'll get faster at being better. Two, for the wonderful community that goes with it. And three, for the fun of it, because it is really fun to do it. Just find a friend and do Inktober with them. So like I said, I have never participated for Inktober. I have never done it because I was always too afraid of not being able to be so consistent and mainly just afraid of not being able to do 30 days constantly drawing. And really, Inktober, one of the main, main points was to improve. And you will see that if you draw every day, or not every single day, you can skip some days, but if you draw pretty consistently, you'll see that you'll improve so fast. Also, if you're going through art block during Inktober, then don't worry, there's a solution. Um, the person that created Inktober made a kind of chart for every single day what you can do as a drawing. Some people will respect it, some won't. I think that I'm going to respect it most of the days because I don't want to restrain myself during Inktober because it's really for fun and improving. So yeah. Don't restrict, restrict yourself. When one day you feel like, oh, I don't really like the topic or I don't really feel like doing uh, the things that they're asking me because I have another idea, then go for your idea, don't worry. But you have to keep in mind that if you're doing Inktober through art block, you will find it way easier to uh, have the chart with you because it's kind of like a plan B kind of thing and like, oh, I do not know what to draw, then just look at the chart and it's like, oh, that's a nice idea, then I could do that. The second thing that I wanted to talk about in the, like, why you should do Inktober is that if you're afraid of not doing it every single day because you don't have time, 
because you don't feel like drawing every single day, which is completely normal. I have the same problem. I am 100% sure that I will not do every single day because doing that is so hard and time consuming and like you have to be committed to do every single day which is a lot and then like if you're missing some days then don't worry it's all right everybody has that kind of not wanting to draw mood and just do as you feel don't force yourself you'll find inktober so annoying and you'll actually end up not wanting to do inktober the next year which is kind of sad because it's made for fun and you really need to remember that there is no rules really in Inktober and that's something you need to remember. I think the only rules are like to do the hashtag Inktober and then add the year so it's gonna be this year hashtag Inktober 2017 and I think that's pretty much it. And just don't really please do not force yourself because you're going to hate it and just be disappointed because you will think that your art is crappy because you forced yourself and wasn't inspired for the day. And a kind of tip kind of thing, if you have a friend that likes art, ask them if they're going to do Inktober and maybe they'll want to do it. And it's gonna be so fun. It's going to make that 10 times more fun. It's going to be a source of motivation during Inktober. And you'll find that it's kind of interesting, especially if you're following the charts, that just like this kind of subject, both of you guys will have completely different uh, ideas. And it's kind of interesting to see that. And one of the last things that I wanted to talk to you about is that for the materials, do not worry if you don't have um, some high-end products, but don't feel obliged to buy some high-end things just for the sake of Inktober and that you think that you don't have the materials to do it. Because no, Inktober isn't about the materials that you do, it's just that you improve your arts and have fun. And I think that I'm kind of repeating myself that it's just for fun and that you don't need to feel obliged to do it and that it's just made to improve your art. I really want you guys to remember it, that's why I keep repeating it. And the very last point that I wanted to talk to you guys about is that follow some artists that also does Inktober because you'll find it so inspiring to see every single day their stuff. It will make you feel like you should do it and if you're not doing it from like the first day of October also don't worry it's not that bad. So really I do really 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 hope that you'll do Inktober and see all of those wonderful people, wonderful artworks that are going to happen in October. So I think that I pretty much said everything about the Inktober subject kind of thing. Um, I think I'm going to post some videos on this channel about Inktober, like how I'm going through it and maybe some speed drawings. I don't really have much more to say, just remember it's made for improving your art, it's made for fun, and don't be obsessed by it and think like, oh crap, I didn't do a drawing today. Just forget that and live your life and be happy and don't regret that you didn't do a drawing, it's not that bad. I'll be really interested in seeing everybody's art uh, in the hashtag Inktober2017. It's going to be really great and I hope that you guys will have a very interesting and fun Inktober slash October month, I guess. See you next time. Choo! Bye!